So, are you guys watching the the uh, the daily sketch the daily sketch videos? I I know I, uh, Green Rhyme said she was not. I, I talked to her in chat. Are you guys watching the the uh, the the how to art? The, I'm sorry, the the uh, the random object daily sketches. Are you listening to the the uh, uh, voiceovers? What do, you, what do you think about the voiceovers? Because I'm enjoying it. I started it at first. I started it as kind of a uh, just a um, I, I don't know. I just I was just kind of being silly. I thought I would get up. I thought I would find a bunch of little three minute stories that I could read, and, and I would just put some random prattle out there on the, as the background. Because uh, for so long, I found some some random song that went along with the page for for the the art journal page for the quiche i call it a quickie it's pronounced quickie hi sarah uh i i for the longest time i would find like a classic rock or or a, or a christina aquilera or or britney spears or madonna i would find something to play on my guitar play in quint, print, quint, quotations marks uh on my guitar to go along with the page and that's great if you only have to do if you only have to do one, and then for then but then I was doing the 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 page on Mondays, and then on Wednesdays I'm doing a watercolor portrait, and I could find another song for that I guess, and then on Thursdays I'm doing the the, the mini paintings either Thursday or Friday I'm doing the mini paintings, well I guess I could find another song for that, but then I turn around. I, put up the, the daily drawings. Well, crap, I'm not finding a different song for every day of the week. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not finding two songs a day. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. You know, even if I even if I bought a book of 100 songs or 300 songs, two two songs a day, I, it wouldn't be very long before I'd be finished with that book. Uh, and some of those songs I'm sure to not like or, or, or know how to play, right? So, uh, so I started, so I started, oh, we lost Sarah. Where she bounced. Anyway, so, uh, I I started uh, reading the the the, the book and, I, and the book is a trip. I mean, it's 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 really a trip. And Green Glimpse said, and Green Glimpse is is in the in the chat talking about the readings. The the book, this particular book, is uh, the science of being well. And and the philosophy is is that if you if you believe that you are well. The universe wants you to be well. The breath of God that created everything wants you to be well. The the stuff that made up the universe, the energy that made up the universe, wants you to be well. And all you have to do is believe that you are well and agree to it and, and accept it. And that's the premise of the book. And he does start, Green Bumps, he does start by saying, unless your body is too poisoned, too far poisoned to recover. He, he does start with that. So I'm going to give him that one because that, you know, well, it didn't work for me. Well, you were too far along. And, and I, the problem that I have with it is, is that there are people that, that have prayed their whole lives and believed their whole lives in faith healing and, 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 still, and still die of cancer and diabetes and, and whatever disease they have. Their children still starve to death in Africa, no matter how much people believe and pray about it. So I, I have a little, I take, I take exception to that, but the placebo effect alone I think has a lot to do with it. But let's, let's not take it to such a grand scale, Green Glamps. Let's, let's not take it to such a grand, grand scale where if you believe you'll, you are healed, you'll be healed. Let's think about it more along the lines of today's going to be a good day. To today, today, I may not have any more days, but today is going to be a good day. And I'm going to, and I am going to be as well as I can be today at everything I do. And I'm going to help everybody that I can help. And I'm going to be, I'm going to live life to the fullest today because today is a good day. Not today is going to be a good day because that suggests that there's going to be, that there's a choice. You don't have a choice. Today is a good day. And I help people and I am enjoying what I have now and if you if you take it on those terms it makes a whole lot more sense but it it, it doesn't 
it, it doesn't make sense into trying to change reality. And, he, and the, the, the chapters that I just read, uh, and you'll, you'll hear those later on uh, throughout the week, the chapters that I just read, the latest chapters say that you're not trying to change an existing reality. You are trying to change the way you accept the, the, you, the energy of the universe. You are trying to change the way you allow the breath of God to move throughout you. And, and that saying, it will heal you to the best of the to the to the best that can be healed, it will it will mold you to the best that can be molded in the time you have left. If your body's too far gone, there's nothing it can do. My dad is blind in one eye because he has a tumor growing inside of his eye. They can operate, but it's growing so slowly that the tumor is not going to kill him. It's benign; it's not going to kill him. But he's blind, and, and it, they can't they can't operate. There's there, if they operate, they're just going to take the eye. So he's lost his sight in that eye, regardless. Well, there's no amount of accepting the well-being of the universe, as, as Kung Fu Panda put it, universe juice. Uh, there's, there's no amount of universe juice that's going to correct that. It's too far gone. And my dad's a prayerful, prayerful person. My dad's one of the people that would have uh, prayed his entire life and accepted the, the well-being his entire life. But he's also one that would have prayed against disease, and he would have let the disease in by thinking about the disease. So, I mean, the thing self-argues. The, the biggest problem I have with it is the brainwashing. Because as I'm reading it, I'm thinking, hey, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. It's like listening to the Maharaji Rajneesh. I mean, seriously, I could be a beetle. The next thing you know, I'm wearing a white robe on a mountaintop somewhere with long hair, you know, playing a sitar, however however you play a sitar. This thing is, I mean, it's really, it's really an enticing argument until you start applying it to real life and you're like, wait a minute, N no. And he, but he does say, no string of words is going to undo, it can undo it. There's no power in, in a string of words, but there's power in, there's power in thought because thought is what created everything. And, and that is an enticing argument. That, that is an enticing argument, but I don't. I don't bring it up to make people mad. And I don't bring it up to. I don't bring it up to uh, to uh, 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 drive drive people to religion or anything like that. I just think that the 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 guy's style of writing and the thing that he's writing about. If you just apply it to today, uh, he's got. He has three books: the the science of of, uh, of being uh, the, the the science of getting rich, the science of being well and the science of being great. And I intend to read all three of them, just because I understand that that's what he's going to say about all of them. If you want to be rich, be rich. You, you just have to be rich. You have to, you have to behave as if you're rich. You have to not, and that's not to go out and write bad checks, because rich people don't go out and write bad checks. But you have to accept that you are rich and, and understand that the universe wants you to have an abundant life. And, and and I get that, and I want. So I'm going to read that book too. <laughs> I think I think the whole I think the whole argument is kind of enticing because I've said for years that the universe, the energy in the universe is neither good nor bad. The 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 things that happen in the universe we have to assign good or bad to. I'm not, that's not to say that the evil doesn't exist or the true good does not exist. I'm saying that that the random stuff that happens, a book falls off the shelf onto your foot. When that happens, that's random. That's neither good nor bad. You have to assign good or bad to that. Uh, when the book falls off the shelf, you have to say, well, I've been looking for that book. Or why does stuff like this always happen to me? You have to assign good or bad to it to make it a good or bad event. Or it can just be a neutral event like it is for me. Book fell off the shelf. Let's put the book back. Yeah, it hurt, but we're over that now. That was in the past. It's gone. Sometimes the past hurts. Um, but point of story, I've said for years that you get what you accept. You you get what you reach for. If you're looking for the good, you get the good. If you're looking for the bad, you get the bad. And, and if you're not looking for either, then you don't get anything. So you, your your life and your day is what you make of it. And if you don't have very much life left, you, then by God, make the best you can of it. Anyway, it's an interesting read, and it is an enticing argument. Uh, it's especially hard for me to read, though, because I, I don't believe in any mysticism whatsoever. But uh, uh, I do, I, I, I do believe that you can, you can make your karma by the way you act changes the way people act around you and the way you treat people. So the way you 
for instance, if you lie, then you'll expect other people to lie also, whether they are or not. You, you'll be mistrusting. If you steal, then you'll expect other people to steal, and you'll be mistrusting. That's, that's karma. There's nothing mystical about that. You will change the way you treat other people based on the way you know you act because you have to normalize what you do. And this, the whole premise of the book is what you, what you accept is what you're going to be. And, and I'm going to wrap it up with, with what Henry Ford said. And when Henry Ford said, whether you think yourself a success or you think yourself a failure, either way, you're right. So it all, to me, it all ties back to that, right? So uh, let's get the book out and let's, uh, let's play with this rubber band. Let's play with this rubber band perspective. I've got a brand new art desk I'm going to walk you through. And, and we'll play with the uh, we'll play with the uh, rubber band perspective while we do it. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.